challenge the Iron Man on this trip? You can, <laughs> you can do it in Athens. So, a couple of things to just start to review here. We've been in, we've been at the port, the Blue City, and then we went to Lydia. Just imagine you've been Paul traveling. This is mine. Yes, no. Mine. Then got <laughs> baptized. Thank you. And preached the gospel, make his declaration demonstration with the people over there and now we're gonna have this journey so someone just asked me back there how do I get ready for Berea Acts chapter 17 is what we're experiencing these two days from verse 10 to 15 you will read those five verses and Acts chapter 17 verse uh, 10 to 15 so again, as we see Paul on this journey, he will just compel about the gospel. And you will find that as we make this journey, I hope it's burning in our hearts. I want to get this message right, and I want to find places I can share it. So think about yourself, our church, the neighborhood and our community, how we can make a big, big difference with the gospel of the king, who was more than Caesar, who was more than Zeus, and all the rest of it. So, no singing this morning, right, Danny? No, we can sing. Well, go ahead. All right. Before so, I pray. <laughs> so, um, when we were uh, down at the place where Lydia was baptized, um, there was a verse that talked about opening opening the eyes of uh, of, of her heart or opening her heart. To the gospel, so I thought we might see open the eyes of my heart. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see, to see you high and lifted up, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love, as we sing holy, holy. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 I want to see. Amen. So as we ask the Lord to open the eyes of our hearts, the Holy God, He also open our physical eyes to see the sights in the archaeology and the places. I hope that like today in our long ride, as we just sang He's Holy, we can be thinking about each character of God, you know. He's the God who is all-knowing, so he, he knows everything about Greece. About Florida United States he knows everything about me and you he knows everything about our church so we just ask him to give us fresh new insights so father as we're on the road today we see the places that you have made in your creation for which we worship you father we pray that today or again in this hour of long drive we will spend time thinking, reflecting, meditating upon you, the Holy God, who is showing 
all things new that you are doing. Father, we want to pray for our loved ones back in the United States, uh, Florida in particular. We pray that you would just be closer to them even as they sleep now at this time, that it will start an another fresh renewal in their bodies and mind. We pray for our congregation people. We pray that you be meeting their needs. Those who be gathering later in the office today and those who be coming for classes and groups on site and off site. We pray for those who are considering this weekend to make a demonstration of their faith by baptism. <coughs> I pray, Lord, that each one of them we renew their commitment, they know you. We pray for the teaching and preaching of the word this weekend. We pray, Father, we bring new insights in the preparation and the presentation and deliverance. Again, today, thank you for this day and giving us this great opportunity to be in your word, to be in Berea, in Athens, and Father, may you just renew us for loving you and the world and how we can make your gospel knowing, known to people of every kingdom, tribe, and nation. We are grateful for all that you've given to us. Fill our hearts with your love and for each other. In the name of Jesus and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Amen.